Good morning to you. We are tracking Tropical Storm Bill, Andy Sirota, and Rachel McNeil here with you now live, quarter to three in the morning. We're going to go ahead and check in with Garrett Foskett. He is with the Galvin County Office of Emergency Management. Garrett, do you hear us now? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Can you give us an update on road closures? I know our Robert Arnold is in that area, and he's been saying that you're having some water at 124. Uh, correct. Uh, Textile has closed the Highway uh, 87 from Rollover Pass to Highway 124, which uh, is right there at High Island, mm -hmm. mostly due to debris being brought in by high tide, but uh, not so much for the water at this time. And what are conditions out there like right now? Has the tide shifted somewhat? The, sh the tide has uh, started to come in, and so we're anticipating... Uh, some flooding um, due to that tide, but obviously it's bringing a lot of debris, probably a lot of debris that uh, flowed through the rivers from the uh, previous storms. And Garrett, I know a voluntary evacuation order was issued yesterday. For those folks who are deciding to ride out the storm in their homes, what are you telling them to do at this point? Well, pretty much what you would do if, uh, if it was raining out, you know, just stay, stay inside if you can. Uh, avoid any uh, any large, you know, puddles of water or uh, any areas where it might be flooding. Uh, currently, the ferry is still open. They have not shut down yet, so uh, they can still come over to Galveston if they need to. And I know after this last May storm, it seemed like the folks really got lucky in that area for the most part. Do you find that people are heeding the warning if need be to evacuate this time, or? Sometimes because of a good experience in the previous storm, they kind of say, well, I'm going to ride it out this time. Well, you know, we've had a couple mixture, mixed mm -hmm. uh, occurrences here. We had Hurricane Rita, mm -hmm. where everybody yeah. ran, and then everybody got stuck sure. uh, in traffic. Then we had Hurricane Ike, where not many people ran, and then we had a few people die mm -hmm. in total devastation. Uh, it's been seven years since we've had Hurricane Ike, and uh, some of the people have heeded our warning. Uh, we have had, we've received many calls uh, asking about road conditions. And so we're hoping that the people that live in those low line areas mm -hmm. or have uh, travel trailers, things like that, that may get inundated by water, um, took them and got them out of harm's way. In terms of resources on Bolivar Peninsula, what are we talking about here? Uh, well, Textile has some crews over there. Uh, but Galveston County has uh, put on extra deputies, and they have some uh, dump trucks, and then they also have some uh, vehicles or boats for dealing with the water. Yeah. And I guess this go around, uh, erosion is going to be a, a major concern uh, after this storm passes. Absolutely. The what what little dunes we have will uh, probably be destroyed. So we'll be very interested to see what we have left uh, tomorrow afternoon once uh, everything settles down enough for, for us to get out there. And are your crews out and about at all right now checking on, I don't know, the elderly or the disabled or some people who may be in low-lying areas just to make sure or you kind of stay where you are and respond if needed? Well, well when we sent out, we sent out the notification mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, and that notification went to everybody that had signed up on 211. All right in addition to everybody that lived that had registered with the county. So no one has contacted us needing assistance, mm -hmm. So, but, but we do have people over there in case people do need assistance. Absolutely. But uh, we haven't uh, had any calls for assistance, so we're not, uh, the, you know, we want our crews to be safe as well. Sure. But we do have extra people over there. All right, Garrett Foskett uh, with the Galveston County Office of Emergency Management. Appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much.